Good morning, guys. Hello. Okay, guys, today we are going to review our book. We are going to read in our students' book some topics that we learn in this year. For example, open your students' book. Voy a poner nada más SB, que significa students' book. Cuando ustedes vean eso en donde sea, significa students' book, porque eso escribir es students' book. <laughs> Okay, open your student's book on page number 13. Okay, guys, repeat a student's book on page number 13. Okay, guys, wait a moment. Esto que sonó así no fue, eso fue mi silla, chicos. Que mi silla se mueve y tiene un asunto que empieza a sonar que... Okay, give me a second, please. Okay, guys, I told you, open your student's book on page number 13. On the page number 13, I remember that we identify and we read and we use uh, the short and low V, uh, short and low O vowel sound. Um, I remember to, the, to be familiar with a what question I'm um, to use in this speaking and writing. Um, we identify and recognize toys and objects related to entertainment, hobbies and games. Okay, and now I want to ask, what toy do you remember? A ver, ¿quién me dice uno de los juguetes que hemos aprendido? Ahora sí pueden levantar su mano. Vivian. Sí, sí. Okay, very good. Um, Jailenis? Cut, false, jump, rub, mother, okay. only one, only one, remember, uno, solamente uno, chico, para darle oportunidad a sus compañeros. Thank you. Carlos? Bicycle. Bicycle, very good. Abraham? Ah, Abraham, no ya Lenis. Abraham. También hemos aprendido de computer game. Epale. Ok, excelente. Lia Conception, tell me. A mí me gusta jugar con la cometa. Ajá. What do you remember? Dime cuál recuerdas. Nada más que me. El que me acuerdo nada más es el quite. ¿De cuál? De la cometa. Ah, kite. Yeah, ok, excelente, Lía, yes. Is correct, is correct, exactly. Eh, Juan David, next, Beatriz. Juan David. Mother car. That's nice. Yes, that's nice. All right. Uh, Helen? Next, Bellatrix. A mí me gusta jugar con, con puzzle. Oh, ok, fantastic. Yo lo armo bastante rápido. Fantastic, Helen, fantastic. Bellatrix? Okay. All right, yes. Okay, guys, it's very good. We recognize some toys. Kai, the puzzle, jump wrap, um, model car. Fernando? Action Cure. Eso, eso, very good. Okay, Kellynet, please. Uh, no, no, nothing, nothing, Yaileni. Kelinet? Here. Tell me, Kelinet.
Come on. Nada, Kelinet. Ah, ok. Eh, yo sí. Oh. What? Repeat. Yo sí. Yo sí. De los que tienen ahí. <laughs> Come on, Josie. <laughs> tell me, mommy, tell me. I like, I like, um, bicicleta. Epale, excellent. Brianna? ¿Y te puedo decir pulpitos reversibles? What? Repeat. Pulpitos reversibles. Ah, también, de, tell me. Yeah. Oh my God. You are bilingual right now. You speak in English. It's correct. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. I remember what does you want and you say, I lie or I want a puzzle. I want a computer game. I want a stuff an animal, CD player, computer, action figure. Yes. And now open your, tell me, Emily. Yo también puedo decir uno. Ok. Computer game. Yes. Do you like to play with computer game? Me, me too. I like to play with computer game. Okay, guys, open your student's book. Thank you, Emily. And your student's book on page number 21. And the page number 21, I remember, voy a ponerle aquí un corazoncito al que ya íbamos haciendo. And the page number 21, I remember, um, we identify part of the body. Um, we use them for personal or personal or physical description. Um, I remember too that we use have or we use has in a speaking and writing activity for personal and physical description. All right, and now tell me, What part of the body do you remember? ¿Qué parte del cuerpo recuerdan? A ver, Vivian, please. Mouth. Epalín. Ok, all right. Uh -huh. Someone else, alguien más, recuerda qué otra parte del cuerpo? Andrea Tobar. Mouth. All right, ok, jolly good. Carlos Rodríguez. Vicentón. Ah, uh -huh. fantastic. All right. Yes, and we recognize our body part. Um, Fernando. Fernando. Legs. Okay, legs. Legs. All right, you did a great job. Excellent. Joseph Ampudia. Joseph? Hans. Han. Okay, thank you so much. Helen? Nonsense. Right, right. Okay, guys. And now open your student's book. Recuerden levantar la mano virtual porque veo más la virtual que si levantan esta, la real, porque no me pueden ver. Yo tampoco los puedo ver en este momentito. Open your student's book. Okay, Josie, Eric, I don't know. Tell me. Diga, Eric. Dale. Tell me, Eric, Josie. A yes, he knows. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Hola. Hair. Hair, no la mente una. Very good. Josie, thank you. Eric, Fabian, thank you. Abraham, and next, Dana. Yo quiero decir una. Tell me. A yes. 
All right. Hi. All right. Hi. Pero okay. me están diciendo ellos ahí. Y de trabajo hay. <laughs> hey, Raham. Okay. The writing is ellos. But the pronunciation is ice. Right? Is ice. A veces se escribe diferente. Dana, pero se lee diferente. Dana, please. Yeah. Repeat, Dana. Tell me, Dana. Yeah. Okay, very good, Dana. Very good. Excellent. Vivian, next to Aileen. Red hair. All right, all right, all right. Aileen, thank you, Vivian. No, no. Thank you so much. Okay, and now open your student's book on page number 29. Open your student's book on page number 29. On the page number 29, I remember that to identify more part of the body and we use them for a personal and physical description too. And I remember that to be fami familiar with a half and half, and we use half and half in the yes or no question in speaking and writing. For example, if I, do you have a long hair? You say, yes, I have a long hair. Yes, I do. You have, do you have a short curly hair? And your, uh, and your answer, no, I don't. No, I don't, no, we don't, etc. Okay, I remember that we need to recognize more part of the body and now we are going to recognize some more parts of the body. Okay, tell me more part of the body. Fernando, please. Fernando. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Thank you so much. It's correct. Andrea Tobar. Que sería que tengo que decir un cabello. Uh, whatever you want, una de las partes más, una de las más de la parte del cuerpo, un poquito más de la parte del cuerpo. Ah, ok. Neck. Ok. Thank you, Andrea. Abraham. Yo quiero decir largo. Ok, tell me. What is that? that? Okay, it's correct. You have a dark hair. It's correct. Dark. Thank you. Helen. Hello, here. All right. Thank you, Helen. Yailenis. Um, oh, page number 29. 29. Josie and Eric Fabian. Tell me. Long, long high. Okay. Thank you. Eric, tú. Estoy en pareja. Dígame, Eric. All right. Okay. You have a hair. I don't have a hair. Helen. No has olvidado bajar la mano. I'm sorry. Jailenis, please. Short, curly, blonde. Only curly. one, Jailenis. Solamente uno, mami. Recuerda, uno. Uno solo. Carlos. Head. Ok. Very good. Fernando. Andrea, first, second, Fernando. 
Thank you, Andrea. Fernando. Teacher, le iba a decir uno, pero es que no sé en qué página está. Page number 29, página 29, del student's book, Vivian. Curly hair. Okay, you are, you are curly hair. You have a curly hair. Yes, it's correct. Okay, Fernando, come on. Estoy en la página 39 o bien en la 29. 29, papá, 29 todavía. Okay. Tell me. Drug. Ok, very good. Thank you, Fernando. Ajá. Joao. Long. Yes. Is correct, Joao. Is correct. That's it. That's it. Yes, yeah, sorry, papa. Ya te dije que estoy encantada como contigo porque siempre te abro el audio. That's it, please. Red hair. Yes, thank you, Yassi. Thank you so much. Jailenis. Um... Tell me, Yailenis. Yo sé que esto es la página 29 o 39. 29, estamos en la 29 todavía. Ok. Red hair, brown hair, black hair. Ok, thank you. thank you. Only one, remember. Ok, guys. Ok. Samandana. Brown hair. Yeah, pali. Excellent, Dana. You are, are you brown hair? Are you brown hair? Do you have a brown hair? Esa es la palabra correcta. Dana, ¿tienes el cabello chocolate? Yes or no? Yes. Ok, very good, Dana. Maciel. Maciel, nothing. Okay, okay, let's continue, guys. All right, guys, and now on the page number 39, I remember we talk about, on the page number 39, we introduce or we learn about to be familiar with the helping bird, do and does, and ask, do you like to play baseball? Yes, I do. No, I don't. And we identify and recognize the leisure activity and the sport. And you think in speaking and writing. On the page number 47, we recognize or we identify the date of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we recognize some activities, for example, fly a kite, read a book, listen to music, watch TV, ride a bike. Um, we use the days of the week um, W question about activity. On the page number 55 and last, esta es la página que va a venir en el examen, desde ya lo digo, esta que ven aquí, 55, we identified a kind of the weather um, to be able to express the different kind of the weather. Um, we to use and we use laser activities related to the different kind of the weather in the speaking and writing. For example, weather, sunny, rainy, cloudy, windy, snowy, um, activities like go shopping, go swimming, go hiking, go fishing, go to skateboarding, go jogging, and um, um, we ask um, 
what do you like to do on sunny days? And you ask, I like to go shopping on sunny days, or I like to go swimming on sunny day. Um, I remember we did a short reading about the sunny day. It's a sunny, sunny day. Let's go down and play. What do you like to do on sunny days? I like to go swimming. What about you, my good friend? I like to go fishing at the lake. And I remember that we learned about Anna's family, Anna's mother, and she likes to go shopping on rainy days. Um, Anna likes sunny days. Um, they like to go hiking with their family, with their family on sunny days. Um, and we last with different words that be words, con, chon, pan, no, rice, date, fuck. Y eso es algo que vamos a dar la próxima semana acerca de estas expresiones, o mejor dicho, identif identificar palabras que tengan sonidos parecidos, lo vamos a dar la siguiente semana. Recuerden que la página 55 en adelante es lo que va a venir en el examen. Okay, guys, thank you so much and have